I got Seamus helping me out out here. We're done, finally. Uh, ran into a few last minute glitches. I had a uh, bump sensor stuck. It took me about 40 minutes to track that down. But uh, the cameras are all up and running now. Um, my LED lights had to be replaced. They fried because I left the resistor off trying to go for maximum brightness. Kind of stupid. I put a 470 ohm on. I've got, uh, I think, six of them in there now instead of uh, what did I have? 12 before. It still looks cool. And uh, there I am. Bleary-eyed, but still here. And uh, I've got some speech uploaded on the whole thing. Um, the GoPro's not up at the moment because the switch has not been thrown. Down here I've got an amp meter. A cool old uh, triplet amp meter that I borrowed from someone. I have to give this back when I'm done, but that is a very cool triplet amp meter. It is uh, Bakelite body construction. So let's turn on the main switch. That powers everything up. I've got a blinky LED to let me know that there's power. Smile, you're on candid camera. Ah. Okay, not really, but you are being broadcast live on the internet. Hello, I am for Go up here. I am a video and photo gathering robot. Power up the GoPro. I am equipped with five cameras recording Maker Fair, North Carolina. Up above you on the top is the GoPro camera recording high definition video with a wide angle lens. Below that are two smartphones. The one on my right is a Motorola Triumph which is transmitting video over Wi Fi. If you have a Wi-Fi enabled device, you can open a browser and enter the IP address printed on the label above the phone to view the live video feed. The label will be right there. The smartphone on my left is a Motorola Droid Razor which is transmitting live video to make a demo stream channel. Can't shave with that razor. The website address to view the live video feed is printed on the label above the phone. Insert label here. Below the smartphones are two digital camcorders. On the right is a JVC camcorder recording time-lapse video. Ooh, time -lapse. On the left is a Canon camcorder recording HD video. We love the HD the video. The thing below that which looks like my nostrils is a Parallax ultrasonic pin sensor which helps me in avoiding obstacles. My voice comes from an Arduino microcontroller connected to a speech synthesis module invented by Joe Grand of Grand Idea Studio. My locomotion is powered by four Roomba motors connected to a salvaged Roomba motherboard connected to an Arduino microcontroller. My torso and base have touch sensors. The ones on my toes are made from wires and the ones on my base consist of 48 switches. My body is hacked together from hardware store items and various pieces of electronics. My creator, Dino Seagolf, is IKI Maker Dino, spent over 100 hours making me. Thanks, Maker Dino. You're welcome. I being here. I enjoy having you here. So, there we go. That's it. It's done. And uh, now I just need to load up the car tomorrow afternoon and head up to Maker Faire and get set up. It has been quite a journey getting here and I'm really, really, really glad that Photon is uh, finished and ready to go. Uh, this, uh, this is probably my masterpiece hack so far. This thing is pretty crazy. It took a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to make this thing happen. So, hope to see you at Maker Faire this weekend, North Carolina, June 15th, uh, at the fairgrounds. And if you're in North Carolina or anywhere nearby, please do come by and say hi. And until then,
So we got about three amp draw. I got a 10 amp hour battery. Uh, so what's that come out to? Um, I guess uh, maybe three hours.